Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all is going well for y'all. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now today, continuing off here in official PvP. We're here in Aberration and I'm starting out here getting a bunch of hide, but we've got some stuff that we're going to work on today. So we've got this new base build that I've been kind of doing a little bit here and there on. And today we're going to do like a little bit of a, I think we're going to do like a drawbridge build. So it's something I've been thinking about. I really want to be able to access the entrance to it. Right now it's completely blocked off and we need to build a ramp across it, one that enemies can't get across. So we're going to work on like a drawbridge thing that I've been kind of working on an idea for and we'll kind of go on from there. So I'm trying to get as much hide as possible. I plan on doing a decent amount of flak this week, probably a vault of each type or something. So I'm stocking it up on as much of this as physically possible. I'm keeping the pelt too, might as well, since the basilisk has really high weight. Uh, there we go, slot cap. So look at this, isn't it beautiful? Ugh, it takes so long to get this much hide, but I um, actually got about 24k XP right there. Almost doubled his experience. Um, I've been stocking up on the levels. I wanted to see how far I could go with it. I don't know. I just like to build them up, get them to an even 20k, put the rest in melee. But I can start making my way back now. I feel like I've been out here forever uh, trying to get as much hide as possible. But um, I'm going to get this guy back. I can't bring him up to the base yet because there's no ramp. Um, and then we're going to get started on that. So the best way to get a hide is definitely the Therizino. And I was over here on Scorch getting meat for the babies that we're raising here. And just look at this area. Look at it. It's like a flat expanse of just hide. I just see hide for days here. Um, I'm just going to go through here, getting all this, but just look at this. It's beautiful. Nothing like uh, Aberration. Hide is definitely a lot easier when you got the Therese C attack. And the crazy thing is, is all these little Jerboas, I, I swear, they give more hide than the, like, the Parasers. The Jerboas give like 160, and a Pariser will sometimes give you, I don't know, 80 to 100? It's pretty crazy. Uh, let me get rid of that. I'll hold on to the meat. I'll just run it back here quick. But this is a lot easier for hide. I just figured I'd uh, jump over here quick, see how, how much we could get of this. Um, I've been jumping back and forth between Aberration and Scorch, as many of you know. Um, so we'll head over there back in a bit, but I couldn't pass this up. All right, back in Aberration. And the other thing that we're going to need for that flak is a bunch of fiber. I actually never took the bear out to this spot. This is where I usually come to farm berries, but I figured I'd come out here to try out the fiber. And let me grab these quick. I actually want, I actually want the gas balls, but it's really dark. All right, let me grab this. Um, there are, what the heck? They're already spawning. My light just went out. Settle down. doesn't have much of a charge I think this one's capacity is crap actually it's, it ran out like twice on the way here um, anyway this is in the upper right hand corner of the map pretty much as far upper right as you can go in the blue zone and these flowers are where it's at Look at this chain Look at this chain of fiber how high can I get this actually 4k so you can get a lot here actually I've never come out here with a bear like I said so I didn't know how good this was gonna be but this is where it's at if you're going to set up some wandering Gigantopithecus, this would be the place. Just come back and... We used to do that on, what was it, the center? Set them up on that fiber island where they can just roam around and just pick fiber for you. This is at 8k? Dude, I'm not going to have to like spend any time out here at all. Keep the chain going. Can I get this to 10? Yeah, this is the way to go. So, we're going to need a ton of this for flak. I assume we can just put the other amount to like c4 or something i feel like we're gonna need a lot of that but uh, i'm gonna keep going here get a full slot cap on me and uh, my bear here and we'll be back all right can't do any better than that it was like 10 minutes out here actually the plants regrow almost as quickly as you get rid of them i don't know what happened to my drop all button it's just gone it just i can't drop all anymore which kind of sucks i gotta like toss all this stuff but we can make our way back to base now. We're full. I'll just grab a couple more plants on the way. And we'll finally get to... Actually, I need to head out. I need to do a couple metal trips, you know. We, need, we just need metal. And I need to make a bunch of trap doors and hatch frames, actually. Actually, because that's what our drawbridge is going to be made of. Trap doors and hatch frames, which are actually pretty costly. Alright, so I've been out here finishing up this metal trip. But I ran into this guy. And I'm not really sure what his deal is, but he's doing something incredible. Something that I didn't know was possible. What is it? Look at this. It's incredible. He's learned how to dig through a tree 
emerge from the top. He's just living in this tree. Like, that's the way to go. Every time he needs a little bit of dirt, something to eat, he just pops right through the tree down to the bottom. It's incredible. Evolution is real, as you can see. Aberration is um, just evolving roll rats at an amazing pace. Soon, they'll be flying, I'm sure. So I'm out here just finishing up this slot cap of metal. I should be pretty close, I hope, I think. Um, and then we're going to head over there. I should have enough metal to finish up everything that we're working on. We got a lot of foundation spam to make as well because we can't be having people like build ramps and stuff up to that floating base. So finally, we'll head over there. I think we've uh, done enough farming here for, for the beginning of the day. Okay, we're at our cave. Finally, we can start getting to work on this. But we need to start out with one other thing. One thing I messed up last time. So we were trying to set up this, uh, this turret tower over here on a cliff platform. And people were mentioning in the comments, probably everybody I think in the comments mentioned, you have to be, evidently you have to be above the cliff platform to place it. So every time when I've been like, hey, this cliff platform doesn't go here, I was probably below it, I'm going to be honest. So I think, where's that turret at? Right here. This is where we want the, this is where I was going to do the turret tower. I thought we couldn't place a cliff platform, but we're going to try this out. So evidently you just have to be above it. So let's go up here. Um, this is where we're going to put the other one. Now we've got the one on the inside and it, and it's actually kind of a good thing. If I would have put a cliff platform on that interior one, it would have been too high and it would have interfered with our other turrets. So it's kind of good that we did that into a normal turret tower, but thank everybody who mentioned it in the last video. And now we're going to do this one the right way with a platform, which it'll, it'll work a lot better here anyway. Let's see here. Oh, Okay, so I can place it from above. I don't want it right there, though. No, that'll kick me off. Let's go, like, here. Can we get an angle on this? Yes. All right. Come on. Come on. I don't want to do it too high. If we do it too high, it's going to interfere with the cliff platforms outside. We got, we got to do it a little bit lower. Oh, come on. You gotta line this up like perfectly. I could have probably done this from the back of a rock drake, but that sounds sounds like easy. Sounds like an easy mode. We gotta do everything difficult here, of course. Unfortunately. All right, right there. That's where I'm thinking we should put it. <laughs> At least I hope, because we already did it. So I think this will be a better kind of angle going on the gate. So we put this here, just load this thing up with turrets. I gotta test this out with that. Let me grab that other turret. I'm gonna grab my rock drake too, since we can fly up here. All right, we'll see if this turret doesn't um, interfere with the other ones out there. So let's grab this. From down below, it doesn't, but like I said, if you go higher up, it matters. All right, let's do this. Ugh. All right, fail. That's embarrassing. We'll just, just edit that one right out. Perfect. Look at that. First try. All right. Now, let me dismount this where I don't get shot off. Let's see. Oh, see? Yeah, we've got 10 here. All right. So that's kind of interfering. I don't think we've got 100 turrets on the outside. So how low do we have to go? Even down there, it'll register. So here it doesn't. So anything we put here, not a big deal. I think I might have to move this over a little bit because I don't want it to interfere at all or lower this. Like over here within this whole area, that's zero. So that's actually where we want to be. I'll move it over just a little bit, actually. Can you build on that thing? I didn't even see that before. I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or what. Can you place a fo foundation here? You might be able to, actually. Hey, that might be a spot. I didn't. How come I didn't see that? Am I blind? All right, hold up. We're going to try this out. I don't think I can land on it. All right, let's see here. I feel like this would be really great, actually, if we can place some foundations and actually just do a turret tower on this little cliff thing. Can we place something here? Oh, my God, we can. Oh, we're going to... Yeah, I like the cliff platform we can do one on the edge of the cliff platform and one here so we could split the turrets into two little towers both that help each other this is a really good spot for one though 
Okay, yep, we're definitely putting one here. Let's see how much foundation we can get here. We can put the generator back in this corner. Okay, put it there. We'll grab a pillar and lower it down. Yeah, this will make for a decent turret tower. Put the jenny on the back. And then just line it with turrets. That would be really hard to run. I mean, you couldn't run it. You'd have to rocket it once it was drained or something. So, yeah, this is going to work. I'm glad I found this. I can't believe I didn't see that before. So, I'll get this laid out once we can. We're not going to build these turret towers today. I just wanted to correct myself um, in saying that yesterday we weren't able to place the platforms. I was thinking that this this area wasn't able to do it, but it was just me. I was just doing it from below. Now, what we're actually going to work on here now is we want a way in. So, I haven't been able to take anything in or out of this area. Obviously, we have a little bit of spam here, so you can't really get anything up. The point being, you don't want to build a ramp for the enemies to be able to use. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make something like a drawbridge uh, using hatch frames and trap doors. So it's going to be kind of something that I'm going to be working with, testing out a little bit, and I'm going to figure out a way to do this. I think it'll turn out good. Okay, so I've started the basic foundation, the really annoying part of building a bridge, the foundation stuff. And this is going to be kind of like the first connector. I need some foundational support. So... I've got the first two up there, and then we've got ramps coming down. I want to make sure it it's going to go down in three different levels, so it's not just like one straight across thing. So what I need to do here is get some more hatch frames, but I need foundational support. Let me see how I can do this. I think we'll just go like demolish this. And if we just go out one more with that... Yeah, we'll put one more ceiling out this way. And then can we put this here? Okay, we just need foundation there. And that's just... Okay, I just need to keep going with what I was doing. That's just where it ended. I'll obviously clean up all this um, once we go through and finish everything up. But right now, it's just going to be pillars and ceilings. Now, if somebody destroys this, this isn't a problem. Um, you just don't want anybody to be able to use it. And it'll make our life a lot easier coming in and out and I'm kind of working my way through all the spam too I'm obviously not gonna remove all this and it's gonna be like our moat of spike walls and and garbage can I go one lower I feel like there's a lower snap point no that's as low as it goes it just looks like it's a little high We'll extend this out. This is the foundational support. You don't need to actually put pillars going all the way up. I've, I've done this in a lot of videos. I think I've explained it a lot, but you don't need to make pillars going all the way up. You just have to make sure that there's foundation somewhere vertically. And that should be the foundation that we need. Let's check this out. I think I can place that there now. Come on, come on. Now this is what you'd have to do to get up here in the first place. There's literally no way up, so... This is necessary. There, can this ramp go here? Heck, we'll just put one through. As long as the, the trap door can place, we're good. There we go. And we need more foundation. Okay, I'm going to continue to lay the foundation all the way across. We'll be back in a sec once I get this. And I'll show you how this works. What we're going to do is we're going to put pin codes on all of these. And when we're not here, they'll be up. And when we're here, they'll just be like this. Looking good. Got that second ramp down here. And now I'm working on we're connecting this other set of hatch frames. And you can place the door, or the trap door, right over the top without the ramp interfering. So that's not an issue. Tried it on the upper one. I need more foundation. Crap, I stopped right there. It takes a lot to go through here and get all these correctly spaced, but this is it so far. I just wanted to do a couple levels just because doing one straight across from that height would be ridiculous. The last leg of it will be kind of more level. Um, this part, I'm going to mess around with a little bit. I don't like how this is set up. I'll do a pillar 
going up to the top instead of like a ceiling extended out. Kind of like that bottom one. You see the pillars there. We'll just do the same here so it's not like a long ceiling holding it up. And I'll clean all this up. Probably put some walls and stuff to segment it out. Um, but this is the normal ramp building uh, technique. All right, we're done. And I think the first time it's been daylight. We've been working freaking all night. My eyes almost hurt from this sunlight. Uh, so I've got the... Okay, that was a real graceful jump. We can do it. There we go. Um, so I've got the whole thing set up. Let me show you how this is, is going to work. I've been also clearing out all this area. Let me get these rocks of stones because I'm going to start foundation spamming this like crazy up here. I've already done the inside like chambers with foundation spam and we need to work on out here as well. So there were just like invisible rocks there. Um, all right. So all these are down. The pins are deactivated. Now if I go over here, I set up this little keypad and if we deactivate sad it doesn't make like a really loud noise like a drawbridge or something but there we go they're all closed and that goes all the way down now I did take my basilisk up here so totally fine to take the basilisk up and down but you just can't take anything else across this bridge so pretty awesome actually I, I love uh, being able to actually use these I don't even know the last time I used a hatch frame without Put it, like we always just use them for turrets when do we actually use a giant hatch frame for anything um it's kind of interesting i didn't even know that the inside costed like just as much as the outside but we've done it it's a little bit glitchy if you go too fast um but i'll take it we can clean it up a little bit but it goes over our moat of spikes and i think this is gonna be this is gonna be the way to go let me close all these i mean open them And I really like that they added that last pin code thing because that makes this a lot easier. Now, when they open with the pin code thing, they are the, what is that, a panel, electrical panel? I don't even know what it's called, a keypad, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, they open down, and if you open them yourself, they open up. So, I don't know why it's like that. I would almost rather them open up, but I can always go over there and open the last two just to have them facing up. They just pose a little bit more of a barrier, um, but you might also be able to walk across them easier if they're up. Now, let me put all this away. I've been going through this whole section of the cave, putting foundation spam, and I need to get out here as well. We have to do all of this like crazy, and I'm, I'm kind of sad about it because I've been using the metal spawns inside of there just to, you know, get up that backup supply of metal, and we're just pretty much gonna have to get rid of all of them because we can't really have any space where somebody could build a ramp or build anything in there as long as we spam this thing like crazy people can't even put you know turrets with batteries anywhere along here we'll make it as annoying as possible just because you know metal is really easy to get but I'm gonna go through here continuing to foundation spam we got our drawbridge done we're gonna do a couple more uh, builds here we've got some PvP that hopefully will be coming up soon um, I really want to get into a lot more of that but we've been in the rebuilding process so I'm actually spending a lot of time doing that this isn't like the main focus that I've been working on this little base here um, this has just been something that I can share with you guys and show because we've been farming a lot for this new base and you guys don't want to see me you know constantly farming and doing all that like that's not fun so i'm trying to do this nice little side project on the, the side of like our main rebuild as well as the forest so if you haven't seen the forest videos definitely check those out a lot of people have been liking them and i appreciate the support on that as well but that's where we're gonna stop for today guys if you like this video definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already y'all great yesterday and of course we'll catch you next time